Hey everybody, this is Ian O'Byrne again. I'm taking a look at how I set up my navigation uh, in, a, in a WordPress site. Um, I am using the WordPress.com uh, version here, so this is the free version that you can grab online. Um, my website and most of my other work, I use the hosted version, but for many of my students, I start them off with the free version, so I want to do a couple you know, behind-the-scenes videos. In my earlier videos, in looking at WordPress.com, I've talked about how to start up a site, how to pick a theme, how to customize that theme, how to deal with tags and categories, how to deal with posts and pages. So I view this video here as one of the last in this series of videos in setting up a WordPress.com site. Most of this video is going to be aimed to uh, students in my classes, but by all means anybody can use this. Um, the video is basically set up so that you can uh, set up a website or a digital portfolio as a classroom teacher. And so when I'm starting up with WordPress, um, you know, this video is assuming that you've already worked your way through all of the other um, uh, videos and lessons and materials that I've sent out. And then this is one way to tighten up your website and get ready to go uh, and share with others. So here's the WordPress site that I have set up. Um, and as I've shown in other videos, when I work with WordPress, I typically will have one tab open to the public facing side of the website. And then I have a behind the scenes tab or the dashboard for the site open. So when I make changes, I can go back and I can refresh the page to see what changes uh, took place. Okay, so I wanted to show you that. But one of the other things I also wanted to show you was when you're signed into WordPress, most people will go in and use uh, this layout to sort of like get through and work through your materials. But I found that that's not very helpful. Um, so one of the things I wanted to point out while we're here is I typically skip over this sort of like um, streamline process. Uh, WordPress is trying to put this together to make it a little bit easier for you, but I think it, it limits you in your uh, construction habits. So one of the things I recommend is to... Uh, make it easier to get in and edit. I really use the the real dashboard behind WordPress and the way that you get to that is you look at your URL. So I'm at wioburndemo.wordpress.com um, and then what I'll do is if you look at that and you basically type slash WP hyphen admin after it what it will do is if you're signed in and you're logged into WordPress it will give you this layout. And this for me is the uh, the real, the quote unquote real dashboard behind WordPress. And this is where I advise my students to do all of the work and the editing. It gives you a lot more functionality um, as opposed to what you have in here. This is just too many layers and it's a little bit too confusing for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick to this layout um, when I'm editing and I'm going to use this tab to make sure I'm paying attention to uh, what changes I actually make. So if I'm looking at um, the dashboard here, um, once again, I've already picked a theme. I've already customized the theme. I, I for the most part, like the theme from the uh, for the website. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at posts. So if I look at posts, I have a couple of the random posts that I have um, set up here. I have a, a unit plan update one and two. I have a, a couple synthesis posts, one about online reading, one about online collaborative inquiry, one about online content construction. So I have a couple posts in here. A couple of the things to pay attention to. I have not added any categories or tags to these posts. And if you look at the posts themselves, um, they're very vanilla. Um, so I don't have anything in there. There's no real content to speak of. I don't have any images or anything else. No tags, as I said before, categories, and no featured images. So there's pretty much nothing on this. Obviously, you'd have a lot more content added in there. So that's all of my posts that I have in here. And the main reason I have those posts set up is so that you can see how things move around the site. I'm also going to look at my pages so if I look at the pages, I have a home page set up, I have an about page set up. Um, I chose to have a page for my lesson plan one, two, and three. I chose to have a page for teaching materials and then a unit plan. Um, if you're a student in my class, you can organize this however you'd like. 
Um, you can have your teaching materials on posts as opposed to pages. For me, it makes more sense to have them listed as pages in this layout, but it depends on what works best for you. So if I look at this, a couple different things I do to get started. One of the things I do is I go into settings and then I go to, where is my permalinks? I think I cannot change permalinks on the free version. Yes, I cannot change permalinks. Okay, never mind. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to appearance and I'm going to go to customize. Now you've already messed around with a lot of this stuff in the past to customize your site. One of the things I want to make sure that we do here is I want to set up that home page. So when I open up my website, I don't want to have the main, uh, the most recent blog post there. I want to have a static page. So what I'm going to do is set my home page to that home page that I set up and my post page is going to be um, the blog page which I thought I had but it's it's not appearing so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say add new page I'm gonna call it blog and hit add so now it says home page is home post page is blog and I'm gonna hit publish so now if I go back to this and reload it what it should do is exactly what it's doing here. So I'll have home and here I could say like, hi, my name is, I am a classroom teacher, I, whatever my, my role or my identity in this site is, but I have it landing here and you can see there's nothing really else on the site. I can have recent posts over here and a lot of other stuff, but I'm going to clean that up a little bit more. So the next thing that I do is I go to my post page and I'm going to go down to appearance menus. So now you can see what it's doing right now before I set any menus is as I add new posts and add new pages, it's sort of like adding them to my website in a way that WordPress thinks it might work best. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new menu. Oh, it's not working for me. Main menu. So I'm going to create a main menu and I have a couple options here. I can automatically add new pages. I don't want to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to basically set this up. So I'm going to add my about page. Come on now. So I'm going to add the about page. I'm going to add teaching materials. I'm going to add lesson plan one, two, three and my unit plan i'm going to add those over so you can see what it's doing is here's my pages posts and other things that i can select from and over here is my menu structure um, so it's the the organizational structure that it's going to use to set up uh, those links and those pages and the posts and whatever i have over here what i'm also going to do is i'm going to move things around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, I'm going to take lesson plan one and put it on top of lesson plan two and three, just so that it makes more sense. So I have one, two, three and the unit plan. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to um, create a hierarchy to the links. So I'm going to have like sub pages. And so I'll show you what this looks like. So if I hit save menu, I'm going to hit save menu. I'm going to go over here to my main page, reload it. And I can see that nothing here has changed, but if I click on this, I don't have any menu showing up yet. Okay. So what I'm going to do is go back to this page. This theme is setting it up this way. Your theme might look a little bit different. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to click this first one here, automatically add new top level pages. I'm going to go to primary menu. And I'm going to hit save. Now I'm going to go back to my website, reload the page. Now as I reload, nothing up here has changed, but my hope is, there we go, there's my menu. So this theme is loading this menu up here 
in this uh, you know in this capacity. It depends on what you want. Uh, it it actually depends on what your theme is letting you do. Um, so you want to take a look at how this changes where you move things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to switch this to the social menu just to see what it looks like. Um, usually the social menu it's not one of the main menus that they have set up. And so what I'm going to do is reload this. So if I go over to this menu page, all right, I don't know where it put the social menu. I think it's in a widget someplace. But I do not like that setup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to change that back to the primary. I'm going to hit save. Now it should be back exactly where um, it last left it. All right, so I can see that's exactly the way that I wanted it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a page for, I'm going to add my blog posts. And I'm going to move a couple other things around here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my about page last. I'm going to have my blog go first. And this is just my preference. This is what I'd like to see. My assumption is when someone goes to my site, when they go to a, a website or my blog, they're going to expect to see the blog post first. That's what I want to feature on my site. But then what I also uh, want to have is the other supplemental materials or the other pages available uh, as well. So I have my teaching materials, my blog, my about page is last. Now what I want to do is I want to add sub pages. Um, so what I'm going to do is if I have teaching materials, I want lesson plan one, two, three, and the unit plan to be a, a sub page to the teaching materials. So if you're thinking in terms of hierarchy, I want those underneath of the teaching materials. So I'm going to click this and drag a little bit to the right. So you can see that it calls it a sub item and it drags it a little bit. I think I can keep going. Um, no. So I can have a sub item and then if I wanted to, I think I can have like a sub sub item. You know, I can keep going over, but I don't want that. So I'm going to have uh, those, these four will be sub items. And if I wanted to continue to stack it, now you see there's an opportunity where I could have teaching materials. And if I wanted to, I could have a sub page for like lesson plans and then a sub page for unit plans. And then I could have sub sub pages or pages underneath those for the individual lesson plans and the individual unit plans. For now, since I have four things, I think it's it's not that much to have those listed there. So once again, I have the, the blog, the teaching materials, lesson plan one, two, three, the unit plan, the about page, and all of those. I'm going to hit save menu, and I'm going to go back over here to see what this looks like. I'm going to reload the page. So I reload the page. Now here's my home page. If I click on this, I see blog, teaching materials, the about. Um, this theme, I have to click the drop down and I can see what it looks like. Different themes operate in different ways. Um, some themes, what they'll do is they'll basically, uh, you'll hover over it and it will show uh, it automatically drop down. Um, but it matters on what your theme will allow you to do. So uh, if I keep scrolling down on the menu, so here's my homepage, there's nothing. So this could be very minimalistic if that's what you like. Um, if I click this little bar, I can see the menu, the search, the recent posts, stuff like that. Um, so here's the posts that show up in my blog. Um, and that's all the content that's in my menu. If I want to see the actual blog posts, I have to go to the blog. And that's where I'd see these are the, the five posts that I have so far on my site. So once again, if I wanted to, this could be my front page. But then it gets a little bit confusing to me. That's my, um, this is my choice um, to, to lay out my website. Um, so those, this is basically the way that I organize the menus, um, you know, on this site. If I wanted to, if I had a special post that I wanted to have, um, sometimes what people will do is they'll have custom links. So you might say, okay, I want to link to uh, my LinkedIn page. Um, you know, so I might link to my LinkedIn page. Um, it's mad at me because I'm not adding that. So I could add 
uh, the LinkedIn page. Now that's obviously not a, a correct URL, but whatever. So if I wanted to, I could say, okay, here's my LinkedIn. It's a sub page to my about page or it's my main page. If I wanted to, I could say, you know, here's me on Facebook as well. So I could say facebook.com. Obviously this is not the correct URL, but I'm just making an argument here. So I could add that and make this another sub page. And then what I would do is save that menu again. And then I can reload this site. So if I reload the site, I'm going to go to the main page here. This is my home page again. Obviously, hit the menu. I have the about, under about. I have some sub pages linking out to other places. Now, this is if I want to use the menu as a way to link or show sub pages and stuff like that. Obviously, if I wanted to, I can go to the teaching materials page. And on this page, instead of using the menu, what I could do is just put links to lesson plan one, lesson plan two, stuff like that. Um, most times I advise students to do uh, both of those things. Um, so most times I advise students to have a sub page for your lesson plan one, two, three, show the menu uh, and have those, uh, have those listed in the menu and have them be sub pages. But then at the same time, uh, go on this teaching materials page and also put links to those pages. Make it easier for people to find content on your website. Okay, so um, one of the last things I want to show you here is um, you've noticed that I do have a home page, but I don't put it in the menu structure. The reason why I don't put it in the menu structure is because if I'm looking at the site, um, I can click here to go to the home page because I set it up as the home page earlier, so you don't need to make that a uh, separate page in your menu. Um, so a couple other things while we're here, I can change the location of this. Um, I usually don't tweak this that much. Um, you know, I, I sort of leave this alone. I keep my minimals pretty simple um, on most of my websites. I don't think there's anything else in this theme in the customization page so if I go to menus so I can see where so this is telling me that I can have menus listed in two places and I don't have the social menu set right now so if I change that let's see what it does all right so the social menu the the question that we had before on this theme is leaving it down here nah, I don't like that so I'm leaving that alone so I'm gonna leave this the way that it is and basically that will be how I set up the structure for my menus for my layout of pages. And so once again, if, if this is my main site, wioburndemo.wordpress.com, I typically ignore the dashboard that, that uh, WordPress tries to give me and I go to that wioburn.com slash WP uh, admin. Um, and the last thing I wanna show you is my website. I want to show you the the structure I use on my website um, to see where this possibly could go. Now, once again, uh, the thing to keep in mind is this is a uh, a hosted website, so this is my content um, that I pay for. I pay for hosting, um, and so if I go to my menu, my menu structure is a little bit more complex, and things are changing over time. So you can see. Actually, let's go, let's start off the, the way that I did the other site. So if I go to pages, I have a bunch of different pages. I have, uh, you know, my main home page, which is the front, my blog page. I separated out my uh, different about me pages. I changed my main about me page to a start here page. Um, if someone met me for the first time, they would go there to take a look. I have a page for my newsletter. I have a page for all my YouTube videos, a page for images. Um, you know, that pull straight over from Flickr. I have a page for uh, a separate page for my newsletter um, to have the archives of that. But then my about me, contact me, that sort of stuff, it starts with the start here page, but then it goes into what is my education, what is my experience, and then contact me. Um, so if I go to appearance, you can see the way that this all lays out. So if I'm on my site, 
and this is a, a vastly different theme on my main site. Um, but you can see that this menu leaves everything up here up top. Um, there is a little search bar over here, but everything is up on the top. If I scroll down, there's not really anything. There's my Creative Commons license on the bottom. But my main menu is just right up here up top. If I click on this, I go to my home page. If I go to start here, there is a start here page, as we already looked at, and that's basically my about me page. But if I hover on it, then I can go to education and experience. If I go to my blog, I can go see my, my newest posts. Um, and so here's all of my posts listed out. Um, I can go to, this is a link to a totally different site, my breadcrumb site. That pop-up keeps coming. My breadcrumb site is a totally different site that I run. Uh, my newsletter page is right there. My video page is there. My images page, my contact. And we can see how this is organized here in my uh, menu structure settings page. So I have start here, I have sub items, I have my blog page, and then everything else that was on the top of that, you can see there. Breadcrumbs um, is a custom link. My newsletter is a custom link. Video images contact. Um, so once again, this is a look at WordPress.com. I took a little look into the way I structure my uh, settings for my menu in my main site which is a hosted site but for the most part we're looking at how do we set up menu uh, the menu structure how do you set up the organization for it? how do you lay out pages and posts and stuff like that to make it easier for at least I think easier for your readers uh, as they want to go to your site and consume content so once again hopefully that was helpful to you uh, leave me comments below uh, if there's any questions or concerns or things that you really still want to figure out. Um, and by all means, uh, have a great rest of the day.